Welcome to the Learning English series. This is the unit of English Grammar in Present, Past, and Future Continuous Tenses. Enjoy your learning. This is the learning objectives. In this lesson, you will learn further the English tenses in the three continuous tenses for the present, past, and future that you see on the list. For present continuous tense, if the subject is I, we use am plus verb plus ing. If the subject is singular, we use is plus verb plus ing. If the subject is plural, we use are plus verb plus ing. If the verb is ended with the letter E and its previous letter is not A, E, I, O or U, the letter E has to be cancelled before adding ing due to silence E in pronunciation. See the example. Rise become rising and rise become writing. Some words need to double the last letter before adding ing. For example, cut become cutting, swim become swimming. I have listed some common words that need to double the last letter at the end of the session. Present continuous tense is used in two situations that you can see in the table above. First, when an action is taking place at the moment of speaking, like the example I gave, I am reading right now. Or second, to show a planned future action, like I am leaving for London tonight. These are the keywords showing actions are taking place when the time of speaking, like now, right now, at the moment, etc. For negative form, we just insert the not in between the be verb and the verb with ing. For question form, we readjust the be verb to the front, as seen in the examples above. The verb form for past continuous tense is that be verb plus verb plus ing. If the subject is I or singular, the verb form is was plus verb plus ing. If the subject is plural, the verb form is were plus verb plus ing. You can see the example illustrated. For negative form, we just add not after was or were. Some grammar books also indicate I can use was and were. For question form, we just move the be verb was or were before the subject. That you can see the position where the be verb and verb with ing is located. The above table listed the situations to use past continuous tense. First, to express action that was going on at some point of time in the past. Second, to express a past situation. Third, to show two continuous actions happening at the same time. 
and four to use in the same sentence where two actions are taken place in the past. That means when one action was continuing while the other had just completed in the past. Sentence examples are also illustrated above. The verb form of future continuous tense is will plus be plus verb plus ing. For the subject of I and we, shall can also be used instead of will. Future continuous tense is used to express action that will be going on at some point of time in the future. Like the sentence example I gave, we will be sitting for our last test at this time tomorrow. For the negative form, not is insert in between will, shall, and be. For question form, just move the will in front of the subject. This is the examples of verbs to double the last letter before adding ing. Those verbs should be one syllable in their pronunciations, but except for the verbs ended with the letters y and w. For the verbs with more than two syllables in pronunciations, if the stress is on the last syllable, the last letter should be double like regret, equip, and commit. For the verbs with more than one syllable, it doesn't require to double the last letter on the situation like target because the stress is on the first syllable. So the last letter T should not double the letter when adding ED or ING. For the verb obtain, although the stress is on the last syllable, but the sound tain is not a single vowel sound like get. Therefore, it's also not required to double the last letter N. You can practice with the three continuous tenses exercises, present continuous, past continuous, and future continuous tense in another video, the tenses exercises in my channel.